This is everything you need to know for eighth grade math, part 10. So we're talking about finding slope, which is the same thing as rate of change on a table. Okay, so we've learned that slope is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Okay, meaning that we're just looking for the change in the y value over the change in the x value. So sometimes in problems, they'll say rate of change. Sometimes they'll say slope. It means the same thing. You're going to do the same kind of math. So if you want to find the slope or the rate of change from this table, here's how I'm going to do it. Okay. We're going to pick two sets of points and it doesn't matter which two. And I'm going to label and I'm just going to use the top two sets just to make it kind of simple. And so this is going to be my X1 and my Y1 and then my X2 and my Y2. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and label them and plug them in just like they are. That way it's really simple and straightforward what we have to do. So our formula is Y2 minus Y1. So we're going to start with Y2, which is 5, minus Y1, which is 10, over X2 minus X1. So X2 is 0, minus X1 is negative 2. And so now we can just simplify our fraction. So 5 minus 10 is equal to negative 5 over 0 minus negative 2 is the same thing as 0 plus 2, which is positive 2. So that means our slope or our rate of change for this table is equal to negative 5 over 2. And so that would be our answer. Okay, so that would also be equal to negative 2.5 in case they wanted it in decimal form. So I hope this video was helpful. If you want to see more like this, go ahead and follow this account, like this video, and leave a comment. That way my videos show up in your For You page later on. We'll see you next time.